Hi everyone, my name is Sherry and I'm the Academy and Community Lead at Easy Store. And by the end of this video, you are going to learn on how to manage and monitor your product inventory. Now, product inventory is very important for you to monitor to avoid situations such as overselling. So this is how you can monitor it. Let's jump in. Now, let's take a look at the product inventory. So if you would like to check your inventory of all of your products, you can always go to your Easy Store admin panel and then go to product section. Click on the product section and then select inventory. Click on the inventories and then you will reach out to this page and you can see a full list of the products which you have uploaded into your Easy Store admin panel. You can see the title, the name of the products, the SKU. So if you have the SKU, you can see the SKU here as well. And most importantly is the amount, the inventory for all of this product. And as you can see, if your products offer different options, which we call it as product variants, you can see the list will break it down. For example, I'm selling this floral dress and it is in S size and black color. You can see the inventory for each of the different variants. Very clear and organized. Okay, so what are the things that you can do with this product inventory part is that, for example, maybe you or your staff would like to see the out of stock product immediately. You can always go to this product inventory and click on this filter icon. You can click on this filter icon and you can filter the product inventory list by collection, by stock, or by quantity less than how many quantity. Okay, for example, if I would like to see uh, the out of stock product within the list, I can always filter stock, take out of stock, and then click show results. And immediately, it will show me the list of products which has the uh, inventory of zero. Zero meaning that there's no stock left, out of stock. Okay, so you can see here, immediately, it will help you to filter the list like this. So you can see. Or you can also search for your products from the list with quantity less than how many? For example, less than 200. And then you click show results and it will show you all the products with the inventory less than 200. And this is how you can search for the product within your product inventory list in the fastest way. Okay, so what are the things that you can do with this product inventory is, for example, you would like to edit and change the amount of this inventory. Yes, you can do so. For example, if I would like to change the inventory amount for this bag, I can always click on this pencil icon, which is a very famous icon for editing. So you can click on this pencil icon and then you type in the updated, the most, uh, the latest amount of inventory. For example, I've restocked another 100, so it becomes 200. And then I take it and there you go. You can see, successfully updated, 200. All right. And of course, there are a lot of sellers who wish that uh, to bug edit the product inventory for maybe uh, multiple products or even for all of your products. Yes, you can do that. You can click multiple products or click here to select all of your products. But for now, I'm going to select floral dresses only. So you can take all the floral dresses and then I take update product inventory. And once you click the update product inventory, you will reach to this part where you will need to fill in the new product inventory. How are you going to update it? So you can see there are two ways to update your product inventory. One is add, second is set. And now we will look into both of these ways and see the difference, okay? So firstly, is add. So once we click add, we need to put the quantity. For example, now all of my floral dresses are 100 inventory, okay? So if I put 10 and then I click confirm, you can see a difference. There. You can see all of my floral dresses have successfully added 10 more inventory, 10 more stocks. So it becomes 110. So adding means that you click add, 
and then you decide how many quantity that you want to add to the current existing inventory okay so if you would like to restock do some restocking for your products this is the way for you to update the product inventory and now we are going to try to update the product inventory by setting it the quantity so how it will looks like is same thing i select the products which i would like to edit the product inventory and then i click update product inventory but this time i'm going to select set okay so once i click set and then i will input the quantity for example 500 okay so once i click 500 and then i click confirm you will see the difference there you go from 110 it became 500 because i set it as 500 okay so it's not adding already but i just straight away directly set it as 500 and of course update your product inventory doesn't mean that it's increasing the stock every time but sometimes we will also decrease the stock so if you would like to decrease the stock for example uh currently i have 500 but i just realized that hey maybe it's not 500 maybe it's just 300 for example so you can come back and update it again decrease from 500 to 300 so you just set it the exact quantity that you have and you confirm then it become 300 okay so these are the differences between add and set adding meaning that you add to the current inventory amount that you have set is immediately you change and set the latest and most updated product inventory amount so these are the two ways oh yes and another third way is if you want to do it for individual product you can always click on the pencil icon and then do it immediately on the list also can okay so this is how you can manage your product inventory and also you can come back here to edit your product inventory for each of your product and this is how you can manage monitor and perhaps edit your product inventory it is very simple but it is super important in order for you to run your business smoothly so let easy store to help you to track your product inventory and let's keep tracking i'll see you in the next video bye